Susan Lennart Kasmer here with Ice Resin. I have a really gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous release that's coming out. I love my opals more than anything in the line. They're so beautiful. I love using them. They look just like opals. Um, and they give you this nice little pop mixed into your work. So here's some great colors and some techniques on how to use them. Check it out. Hey, I wanted to show you some of the new opal colors that's in the Ice Resin line. These are so gorgeous. I think the opals are one of my favorites in, in the whole line. You can see how gorgeous they, they're so happy and they look like confetti. I, I love this look. So these are the four new colors. You have a Peridot and then there's the Citrine a pink topaz, and an aquamarine. And me, you know, I'm so into blues lately that I'm just going to show you how to mix the aquamarine. This is the aquamarine color here, and I'm going to go ahead and mix one exactly. So I'm actually using pre-mixed. I already mixed this up ahead of time. If you want to learn how to mix ice resin, um, there's another, another uh, film to watch. And I'm just going to pour a little bit because I don't need to fill, I don't need to use uh, my whole, I don't need to mix this color into my whole cup. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix these right into my resin and fill it up nice and solid. It's a good amount, but it goes a long way. And I'm going to mix these in. I'll do a little bit more. You can also mix the colors. I'm just going to show you directly. For me, I like to layer pieces. So when I'm using these pieces, I'll stack pieces together. You know, I'm, I'm just kind of one piece I'll put a lot of action in there and another piece I just want to look like a stone or an opal. So this is the way I like using these opals in my work. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour this into the bezel and you are going to see beautiful colors in here. This is just gorgeous, gorgeous. If you get a little bit on the side like that, um, you just would need a little bit on the side like I did. See, I always like doing mistakes because then we all learn from it. So I'm just going to wipe this side off. Do Just wipe them off when it's still wet. You can get a nice dome on here if you want to. Um, and it looks beautiful the way it is. But you can see a difference once you get it into the metal. Um, it really looks beautiful too. Uh, this, this product here, um, because it's so, it's light. It's a really light it actually produces, this is one of the few products that produces bubbles, but it's one of the most beautiful if you can get the bubbles out of here. So I try not to use too much, but there's a couple things to get the bubbles out. One would be hitting it with a heat gun if you have it. You could put it under a hot light, or this is just a mini mister that I filled with a little bit of alcohol, and you just can spritz it, and it'll lift the bubbles right out of there. And then you leave it be, and it's just, you can see it popping away. So um, you just, if you're, if you love these products, just click the links below and you can learn more about these products that I just showed you.